Hey, quick vMix tip for you for this evening. This has to do with the Zoom plugin for vMix. I got asked by Larry on LinkedIn, is there a way that I can set a participant on an output slot by using their name via scripts or the web API? Turns out there is. And the function that you want to use is called Zoom Select Participants by Name. Zoom select participants by name. This takes two parameters. Parameter one is the input that you want to set. So for example, I have on my vMix input 25 set as my, one of my Zoom meeting inputs. The other value that you specify, value, is the name of the participant that you want to set in that slot. So you can set this via the HTTP web API, you can set this through scripting, and you can set this through uh, the TCP API, and I'll show you a companion shortcut that I have set up. So let's just go to picture in picture real quick, and I'll show you how to get this done. So on my machine, I have the web API running on port 8088. If I do API function equals zoom select participant by name, input equals 25, value Elias Prunin. If I put this into my Chrome browser, and I'm going to bring up the PNP for zoom right now, I say Elias Prunin, all right, it's got my rear camera shot. That's awesome. I also have another participant here, my MacBook. So I'm gonna say Elias MacBook. And it now has assigned the MacBook as the Zoom participant that it is displaying. Uh, we could also do this in a companion shortcut. So for example, I have a button here called Zoom Switch to MB. And this is using the command. This is using a scripting run custom command. So this will send a, C, a vMix TCP function message with these parameters. And the command is zoom select participants by name, input equals 25, and ampersand value equals Elias MacBook. So again, if I bring this up again, I'm gonna hit, and I've got one set up for me, Elias, as well. And uh, this one should be Elias Prunin because I, uh, I did copy paste real quick. So if I hit this button and trigger it, boom. If I hit the other button and trigger that, boom, I'm back over to the MacBook. So with that, I can switch between my uh, input sources. I can switch which participant goes to that Zoom output uh, with a click of a button. Now, of course, you could wrap this into a script if you're familiar with vMix scripting. Uh, you can also create a shortcut using the uh, vMix shortcuts menu, and I will bring that up in just a second here. We'll get rid of the picture in picture on Zoom. I'm trying to adjust shortcuts while we're on the fly here. So I'm gonna add a new shortcut, and I'm gonna bind it to A because I feel like living dangerously. I'm gonna say Zoom, select participants by name, and I will set this to be my 25 input and value will be Elias MacBook. Now remember, with the Zoom plugin, you all your participants need to have unique names, otherwise uh, vMix is going to get confused. So now when I hit the A key, uh, it's going to switch to, in vMix, it's going to switch to the MacBook. I'm going to clone this and I'm going to bind this one to the B key, or no, the S key because I'm WASD. And I'll set this one to be Elias Pruden. Awesome. And then I'll hit OK. Then I'm going to come back into vMix. I'll toggle the picture in picture zoom. I will hit A. I have vMix focused. I hit A and it switched to Elias MacBook. If I hit S, it switches over to my rear camera, Elias Prunin. A, S, and I can hit the uh, stream deck buttons I have set up in Companion, and there you go. And that, that is how you, in Zoom, or in vMix, excuse me, that's how you can assign participants to different output slots uh, using the web API, using scripts, and using shortcuts. Hope you found this useful. My name is Elias Prunin. You can find me on Twitter and all the usual places. And while you're at it, if you wouldn't mind, go check out Tractus Multiview for NDI 6. It's got some really cool features. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.